Hello, my name is Daniel Fattel. I'm also known as Paradigm. I was browsing the web when I came across an Emacs Rocks video about using multiple cursors with Emacs. I accidentally watched this video a few times because I accidentally thought it was a pretty cool idea. I started looking around for a way to do this in Vim. Uh, well, I found this functionality in a number of text editors, much to my dismay, none of them were Vim. Uh, naturally, I sought to remedy this, and I'm proud to say my adventure was met with some success. One example in the Emacs Rocks video that impressed me the most was uh, he copied content from his YouTube page that lists all his videos and then processed them using multiple cursors to figure out the total number of man hours that were spent watching his videos. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, so I'd, I'd do it here myself. Um, I only have two videos, that's not quite as impressive, so let's pretend I have ten just to uh, show off a little bit more what multiple cursors can do. Before I begin, commas are going to be a problem, so I'm going to remove them. So you notice there's a repeating pattern here. Every six lines is a video. So what we can do is make a cursor for every six lines. Um, mixed units are icky, so let's convert this all to seconds. And then multiply that out, and you'll get the total number of seconds that were spent uh, that each video lasts. Let's multiply this by the number of views. And that's the total number of man seconds spent watching. Let's add all these up. And that's the total number of seconds that were spent watching. Uh, total all 10 of my videos, 8 of which are fake. Let's get that into hours. Um, it's actually 5 by 5 to get the real number uh, for my two videos. And uh, that's it. Apparently 286 hours were spent watching my videos, assuming that everybody who watched them watched the whole thing through. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. That's a bit of a contrived example. I don't know if I would have done that um, if I wasn't trying to show off multiple cursors. For something that actually came up where I actually found myself using multiple cursors was when I was working on it. This looks like... Uh, what I did was I created a Vim help file uh, naturally for my plugin, and then I wanted to convert it to uh, Markdown for a readme for people who want to read it without installing it in a Vim and then reading it in Vim. So let's set the file type to Markdown. Um, now this, most of converting the help file to Markdown is pretty standard Vim. Um, delete that and delete the footer. Uh, main area where multiple cursors is really useful is these section headers. They repeat a number of times. It's the same pattern. So we can just do them all at once uh, simultaneously. So there's a pattern where everyone starts with uh, this number here. So let's delete that. Delete that, delete that, and then substitute that. There you go. Uh, all the section headers are now Markdown style section headers. And uh, do that all at the same time. That was pretty cool. Um, if you want to try this plugin out, there should be uh, a link in the box below the video. Thank you.